The city of Omaha is working on a plan to tackle climate change and leaders are asking for community input. The city's created a website for the Omaha Climate Action and Resilience Plan and it includes a survey. The hope is it'll gather data and public opinion about climate change, its impacts and what could be included in the plan. The final plan will guide actions to fight climate change over the next 30 years. See public meeting schedules online and take the survey. You'll find it all at omacap.org. And studies continue into what drives climate change. In the conversation around climate change, these cows behind me have been getting a lot of flack for their farts lately. I'm Alex Whitney for 3 News Now, and we reached out to researchers to see if cattle production really does play into climate change. There has been a lot of talk lately about cows and the role that their flatulence plays in climate change. But many producers will tell you, that's a load of bull. Any cattle producer is probably going to smirk when they hear that as far as the methane released by cows uh, affecting global warming. Research into cattle emissions has mostly focused on the animals themselves, but new research happening at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln is focusing on the pastures where cattle graze and the role that it can play in carbon capture. Oh, they've not accounted for the capture part, they've only accounted for methane being lost and everything else is at balance. Turns out that's not really a true. When it comes to greenhouse gases, you have emissions in capture. Animals emit carbon, or CO2, but the soil and plants that grow in it can capture CO2. And Erickson's team has found that capture, helped out by cattle grazing and manure, can far outweigh the emissions from cattle. With adequate precipitation, we're actually seeing that grasslands can take up more CO2 or more carbon in the, in the soil and the plants that offsets the CO2 that cattle are producing but also offsets the methane. Erickson and Schweitzer both hope this research won't just correct assumptions about ag's role in climate change, but also help remind folks that ag producers care about the climate they work in. Without a healthy climate, they go out of business. Without a stable environment, we can't produce good cattle and we can't produce good crops. So I do think we need to be good stewards of the land, but I think the finger coming at cattle producers helping really, really incre increase global warming is a statement that needs to be looked at um, with a great assault. Outside of Milford, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now.